welcome. My name is Henrique Espinosa. We're going to start a new series of videos in which I'll be teaching you how to program in C Sharp. On this occasion we will be programming a new kind of programs which are called Windows Forms applications. What does that mean? It means that our programs will now run on a graphical user interface, a window, rather than on a console. So let's get started. First thing we need to do is to fire up Visual C Sharp and let's click on File, New Project. Now, let's choose Windows Forms applications instead of console applications. You can do that by clicking, double clicking on Windows Forms or single clicking and clicking OK. In either case, the IDE will do its job and show us a graphical editor. First thing to notice, no code, no C sharp. There is C sharp though, but uh, it's not being shown yet. So well, all we can see now is a form. This is not a running program, by the way. It's just an image of the window that will run when we launch the application. Our job now is to add controls to this form. Now by doing this, I mean that this form is a container. So this form is an object that has the capacity to hold other objects. So, how do we do that? Well, first we need to explore the form itself for a while, and for that purpose we will look at this properties panel. Now, if you don't see it, maybe you have your interface like this, you can always go to the view menu and search for properties window, and it should show up. Okay, so what does that mean? It means that we have an object, this object has a name, it's an instance. So form 1 has been given by the IDE as a name for this object. Now, as always, the object is an instance of a class. Which class? Well, if you look to the right-hand side, you'll see a qualified namespace. Now, this qualified namespace is made up of words joined by dots. So we have system.windows.forms.form. Now, always remember the, the last name, the one to the right, to the outmost right, will be the name of the class which has provided the object. The rest of the words are a qualified path. I will not go, to go into detail on qualified namespaces or paths on this video. That I will save for a later video. For now, it suffices to know that System Windows Forms is the name of a path, an official name, inside the windows.net 3.5 IDE which, ta which takes us to the, to the class that allows us to create windows. Okay, So we have an object of that class, form1. Now say we don't like the name form1. We want to make, give it a, our own name. So let's go search the properties. There's a bunch of them but I'll just focus on two of them right now. The first one will be name. So we can double click on form one and type our own name. Now, it's been a best practice for many years on the visual editors given by Microsoft to tell us we should provide a prefix. The prefix pretty much says what's the type of this object. So this is a form. That's why I typed FRM. And then I'll give it my own name. So this is main that's the name I chose, so just remember the prefix, FRM for form, and then name. I press enter, and you see no change on the graphical view, but that the object has a new name, and you can witness that by looking at the properties pane once again. Form main now appears as an instance of form, so we have effectively renamed the object. Now, let's change another property. This property is called text. So in text we see form1. Please notice that on the upper left hand screen of the window you see form1, but we want to give it a caption or some kind of title. So let's say welcome. As you can see, welcome has appeared on the window, or the prototype window rather. So we have changed two properties, name, which is the physical name of the object, and text, which is the visible text which we have on the upper left hand side of the window. We can change many other of these properties. We will do so later on. For now, those two are enough. Are we ready to run our program? Yes, we are. We can always go to debug, 
start without debugging or control F5 as you wish and you can just click and wait for a second and you will see the window popping out at you it does nothing I know but it's a functional window it can be moved around it can be minimized maximized even resized so it's pretty cool we can finish it and now we have a functional window we can start working with so as a recap the first thing we have done is to create a new kind of project which is a Windows Forms project and we have seen how we can avoid programming at all and we have a graphical editor which allows us to paint our interface and we have seen how to change a couple of properties on this one object and this object will hold more controls in video number two we have also seen how to run it so this is our basis for the next video so for now that's it thanks for watching